Rwanda is well known for being the most clean country in Africa. And Kigali is the most visited city in Rwanda. In my stay in Rwanda, I was privileged to get a chance to go escape to a city that is more adventurous and more interesting than Kigali. This is because it gives you nature adventure that is beyond just the hills, but plus water and a beautiful environment. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for those who are new. My name is Damaris Jenga and today I am traveling and bringing you to a different side of Rwanda at Musalbe, this mountain. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you different things you can come do here at Musanze and not only know about Kigali but also Musanze has very awesome places you can come and visit so let's get I'm so excited about this we have very beautiful views we have so much in store so stick around and Initially, I had thought we were going to the volcanoes until uh, there was a change of plans and we were told of the Twin Lakes and we changed our minds and our direction and we headed to the Twin Lakes, which <laughs> was worth the adventure. When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. I've got no makeup. How do you look so fine? Bless up, bless up. How did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute, another minute Hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah Today I am going to be showing you things you have never seen. Believe me, you have never seen what I'm going to explore. I have brought you here to Burera in a, in a village called Sunzu. And today we are going to be exploring what the TV does not show you, what you have not seen. Are you ready for this? I'm sure you're not ready. Because this place is so beautiful, very awesome, very interesting. I am in awe. And I don't know, I don't know why people don't visit here. When people visit Rwanda, they visit Kigali, they visit... Uh, I've heard of other places that they visit, but they've not come to see this beautiful place where we have twin lakes, we have islands, we have all these beautiful views near the volcanoes, and you have a moment to enjoy this beautiful nature that God has given us. But people are not seeing this beauty because it's not explored, and it's because people have not been shown that such beautiful places exist here in Rwanda. So today I am just in awe. The fact that coming to this place is not so hard, it's easy, like we just took a border from, a motor from the road, just 10 minutes away from the road to come and see these beautiful twin lakes, to come and see these beautiful, beautiful views that we have here in Rwanda. I'm so impressed and guys, you should definitely come, come see this beauty and you're going to be seeing about places you can come and uh, because it's it's beginning to develop because many people have not identified how beautiful this area is but it's beginning to develop and there are even infrastructure that are being built and they are coming up and then you're gonna try and talk to a few people who are around this area and get more information about what is going on otherwise guys um i'm impressed like I'm impressed. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love it. You definitely should come visit here. You definitely have no reason. It is free. Come on. Yeah, you, you have no reason not to explore this beauty. So definitely come enjoy some beautiful views.
after enjoying the breathtaking view and our adventurous selves being satisfied with the view, we had a conversation with one of the local who got to explain to us and show us around some of these buildings that are coming up, one of the resorts that is being built close to the view so that visitors and tourists can come and uh, stay here and be able to enjoy the beautiful nature that Rwanda has to offer. So I'm just going to take you through this. You can go down in the description box. I have left down the contacts of the one of these restaurants and we can keep in touch. Once this place is ready, I'm going there for a night or two. Be sure to check out for that video. So make sure you have subscribed to this channel and definitely guys, I don't want to use the B word again. Suppose it was not obvious, this was the second stop that the motors had alighted us and our adventure had just been tapped and we were excited to take the hike of 7 kilometers down the hill to go and explore this adventure and even camp in this uh, island that you can see from uh, this place and i got the chance to continue seeing the views from this different angles from a different perspective which was so be i love it i love it so guys we've been walking for like three or four kilometers so far and we are traveling for another we are walking for another like just some few kilometers all along we've been walking as we see this beautiful view so this is like a different angle very refreshing very just appreciating the beauty that god gave us and i'm just i'm just amazed and i look forward to getting so this has a twin lake and that's why we are actually going so we can be able to see this side of the lake and where it connects to the other lake because they are like two lakes and just have a moment to enjoy and appreciate nature like this is a must visit place i don't know how i can explain it plan come do your hiking here come plan do your camping here come plan do your adventures here it's interesting it's fun the village is quiet it's calm and i'm just having this awesome feeling this break from life and it's, it's an indescribable so you can also see that side of the lake so you get more inspired to come and visit this area so let's go We have Bulera this side and Luhondo on this other side. Mm -hmm. So on the Lu Luhondo side, we have the volcanoes as well. So this place is filled with places you can come and have like so many activities and you can have so many things you can come here and do. Adventurous things if you love hiking, if you love being around water bodies, if you love being close to hills and mountains everything everything you want is, in, is found in this place like this is so beautiful i'm still in oh and i'm so sure many of you have not seen this and this should inspire you to travel the more and to come and explore this other side of rwanda the hiking continued and if by chance you did not know this trip i was accompanied by my friend Irina tl who is a ugandan adventurer and two locals who are our local guides in rwanda and we were so privileged that we would even stand take photos enjoy the beautiful views from different places and different locations and they were so comfortable with us every time we needed a break and, and as we ranted as we enjoyed as we had all those gists together they were the best for this trip you guys you guys i don't want to say how much satisfied and how fulfilled I was taking this trip. After some time, we finally made it to 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 the island. Oh my god! Before the island, first we get to the lake. 
where we get to cross the boat and guys i'm gonna take you in my next video of our adventure and our camping experience at the lake that is a must see so see you on my next video don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to my channel, comment, share with your community and tell them there's a lady who's so adventurous here. They should come and watch. Thank you very much. Lots of love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Sijenga and I bring to you travel related content. And today I am here at Musanze and behind me you can see the volcano, hill of mountain. And today I'm going to what? Mohavura. You can't do that. Not counting. Yes, you have.